Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, Divine Mother Goddess Yamaya, and I am coming to you all with your reading for today for August 24th for my sun, moon, and rising signs for I'm going to be doing Leo at this time. And this can resonate with you or it can resonate with you as a cross watcher. Um, you can be in this energy or the person you're thinking of can be in this energy or someone that you know can be in this energy as well as any of the sun, moon or rising sign of the zodiac signs that I call out during my reading. And if you haven't done so already, can you please click the red button to your right and subscribe to my channel as well as like the video if you are a returning viewer. I see that you obviously like my readings. You resonate with me as your personal reader. So please do like my video as well as subscribe to me if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you officially a part of my soul family. So we are going to get started right now. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So someone was um, in the mode or um, in the mindset of trying to attack someone, but someone was um, defensive and came to could have came to your rescue to defend you and stand up for you, Leo. Someone was really, really, really upset and bothered with you, or you could have been really upset and bothered with them, was having a hard time letting them go. You were willing and ready to attack them, or they were ready to attack you. Someone could have found out about it, or you could have been in the mindset of really ready to attack someone, and so this is what the seven of swords is showing that you are on your way to hurt someone attack them um you could have betrayed them um backstabbed them in some type of way went up against them um tried to one up them in some type of way um try to basically make a fool out of them you just did some type you could have done something to try to hurt someone or someone could have came to your rescue or you could have done the same just reverse um, the roles as well as reverse the story for depending on who you are someone did it to you or if you did it to someone else we have fire sign out here for Leo Aries Sagittarius we have air sign as well for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have Four of Wands. So you could have been celebrating because something um, has came to a conclusion. You could have found out some new information that could have been negative, but it was some negative information that worked to your favor. It could have been something that you were hoping would be the outcome of a situation. Um, it could have been something that was able to stop someone. Yeah, the end of a situation, we have the death card. So something was um, has came to a complete end, came to a halt. It is done and over with. And that is why And with this four of wands, you are celebrating. You are happy that shit is over. Those things are over in the past for you. You are able to move on, start something new, look to better things. Things are looking bright at this time to you. You feeling like you in a new energy. You could have been in a really dark energy, but now you are feeling better. Things around you are making you feel good with this yellow card um, here. You definitely found out some information that was... Ooh, the death card wants to come out as I flip through the deck. We have three cards. These cards definitely want to be out here. So, yeah, it confirms what I was saying. Things have been put to rest. Um, but someone could still be um, having to come to your rescue or you could be still having to um, stand guard and protect someone because someone could still be um, trying. They could definitely not want to let go of a situation um with the five of cups in reverse um but they're being forced to let it go 
and if they don't it's like they're there they could literally lose their life because at this point it's like they're trying they've been given a sign to let it go they've been given many warnings to let this situation go um they could be ignoring the warnings they could have literally gotten some type of letter to tell them to leave something alone they could have gotten a restraining order you could have gotten a restraining order against someone or will be and it's telling this person that they can't come near you you can't go near them or whoever this person is that is being attacked or you know someone is coming up in after or someone you could be trying to defend whoever this person that you are trying to defend is someone who you um, could have a family with um, could have recently gotten engaged to could have recently um, you know um, started a family with or someone that you see as family someone that you could want to have a family with or someone that is a part of your family in some type of way we have the king of swords to definitely confirm this read you are going to someone's defense you are standing guard with the seven of swords with that knife there you are ready for anything you are not playing this shit if somebody's coming after you you waiting on their ass to come and try to mess with you because you could have gotten some information about this. You could have found out about it in some type of way. Someone could have contacted you um, by means of a text message, a phone call, an email, something of some sort of communication. Or someone could have wrote you and let you know um, just in general. This information that you found out, it really hurt your heart. It really broke, broke you um, in some type of way. But you were able to get over it. You're healing at this time. This situation could have left you feeling defeated, could have left you feeling like, or could be leaving someone else who's trying to come up against you feeling defeated. With this Queen of Swords, this Queen of Swords at this time could be feeling defeated and still not want to let go of the situation. That's who this person could be. This could be someone, like I said, that you had a family with. The Emperor. So this is definitely um, regarding a divine masculine, someone who is a boss, someone who is a provider, a father as well. This could be someone who is a male um, figure in someone's life that is of significance to someone. We have the um, moon card in reverse. So someone is ignoring um, signs of letting something go. They do not want to leave this situation alone. Like I said, with that seven of swords coming after the death and some, someone was supposed to learn from whatever it was that they were warned about. They just didn't want to learn from it. They um, didn't want to let it go. They don't want to let it go. Um, with the wheel card in reverse, someone is going to be receiving bad karma. Someone is definitely going to have um, to face some type of um setback someone could definitely felt face some type of mental illness um of some sort some type of health scare or could come down with a um you know um health health problems some health issues or physically literally end up dead that's why you just gotta leave certain situations alone like when you know it's something that you've been trying consistently at and you keep losing. That is a sign to let the shit go. But sometimes people just feel like they could keep going, that they'll end up on top. They'll eventually win. Sometimes having adamancy in certain situations is just not going to work out for you. Especially if it's like you're trying to attack someone with this eight of wands this attack that you're planning, whoever you are, or if there's someone trying to come up against you is not going to work. <laughs> And I know that whoever it is, they just do want them to work so bad. They've been trying. They, you know, build up a, a form, an army to try to come up. And they feel like their ideas are really clever, which is why they we have this four of wands underneath the page of pentacles. And the page of cups comes right after that. Because someone feel like they have a really clever idea. They feel like what they're going to do is going to work. That is going to um, bring them some type of happiness, some type of justice, some type of reward. And it's not... 
we have the empress in reverse so someone could um definitely be a fake empress in the situation which is someone's kids mom someone a mother figure of some sort um or it could be like someone's wife um but definitely a mother um it could be your mother it could it, um it could be um your aunt someone who is a mother figure um it could be your sister who's a mother um but definitely um she's not she's a karmic she's not who she um put portrays to be she could portray to be like a loving person someone who cares someone who is um caring um always there someone who can um put on a show as if they're a provider but what they um produce does not turn out to be much it takes a long time in order for them to ground themselves and to find um abundance like they always have to keep restarting they have to watch over what they do really closely or whatever this plan is that they're doing they're watching it really closely to try to um, make sure that it works out we have the ten of cups it came out in the car this is someone that's definitely um a part of your family someone who um you have kids with or that has kids someone um again that is a fake imprint someone who is um not a good mother someone who is not a good you know uh, mother figure someone who is not a giver as well this could be a person who has a really bad attitude um someone who is um never taking care of the home someone who is always consistently arguing and fighting and fucking up um the house and stuff like that they just um everything that they're supposed to be doing as a woman they don't do we have the five of wands in reverse um this person does not want to let go they don't plan on letting go they should be walking away from the situation and th what they don't see um ahead of them is that it's only going to end them up fucked up um either in jail or dead and they're going to bring down a lot of people with them but someone is holding on for dear life to make sure that they don't end up being the one who ends up fucked up. Someone is um, willing to walk away with this eight of cups. Someone is walking away from this and leaving this um, situation behind because it's too many problems. Um, we have um, a lot of air out here and a lot of fire out here. Someone is really, really angry about the situation, but they have a lot of passion um, for what they're doing. They're putting in a lot of time and uh, they have a lot of enthusiasm with this negativity. Um, um, we have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is like one of those laugh now, cry later situations where someone, whatever they're doing, they think is funny. They don't want to move on. They don't want to move forward. They don't want to have a new beginning. They don't want to let someone go. Um, they could be um, in a situation where they're going to have to leave, um, miss out on a home or something like that, or end up having to um, miss out on a home. And this is what they don't want. They don't want to lose what they have. They want to stay in the nine of pentacles. This could be someone who comes from an abundant life. Um, could have prosperity could be someone who's wealthy or has um some type of money to some degree um they could work really hard um but the fruits that they bear is not of good seed they're not planted good and all of that that they have with um this wealth and everything with the nine of pentacles is getting ready to fall down because the life that they build around themselves is really chaotic really problematic um and it's not going to last they are not being blessed at all at this time there is a lot of spiritual as well as physical attacks coming for this person in the real um really near future this person is going to end up hurt and they don't even um, believe that it can happen to them. This person is really bored. This person is really um, stuck in their head. They keep on planning on how they can create more issues because the ones that they've created and um, planned out has not worked out. This is my last card and I'm going to leave it alone. They don't want to walk in a new direction. They should. They are being advised to go a different, take a different direction, take a different route, go somewhere else, do something different. But this person is standing guard ready to fight or they're looking um, for a way to get to someone to fight them or um, to attack them in some type of way. Um, this person um, could have someone that was there um, willing to help them at first in the situation um, pertaining to a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and the person walked away. 
and now she said she's watching this person literally walk away and leave her behind and she's still sitting there ready to argue and fight you see the little car right there she's on her way she's like thinking of a way to get there she could possibly even not even have a car to get there or need a car as well as whoever that she's having this issue with they could be on a different part of the world in a different part of place than her This is the last card. I know I said I was going not to draw another one. Yeah, this person is bored. They don't want to leave. They're, um, they're not creative with what they have. Um, their plans have not been working out. So that is what I have for you on today. This is going to be your reading for you, for Leo. Um, I advise you, if this is you and this is your specific story, please, please, please let this, whatever this is, go. Not every situation is worth putting up a fight for. Sometimes some battles are um, better um, left alone for the meantime until you can think of a new strategy that will actually um, work out. There's always a better way to take care of and resolve situations than, um, you know, physically um, putting yourself in harm's way or other people as well especially if you're someone that is a mother and this is your story um, please do think about your kids before you put them in danger put yourself in danger put yourself in a situation where you won't be able to be there for your kids take care of your kids your kids need you as well as if you are um, a father going through the situation with um, your kids mom or wife um, Please um, do everything you can to protect yourself, protect your children. Um, sometimes some people are mentally unstable and they, they, you know, they just need some type of help. So if you care about this person, get this person some help, if anything, then to sit by and watch them instead of walking away and leaving them in this situation um, to, you know, be in this negative mind state, um, get them some help or um, take your kids away from this situation. But don't don't leave them around someone that's like this because um, not only are they putting themselves in danger, which means that they don't care for your kids, but they're also, um, you know, a, the type of person who could harm your kids. So they're mentally um, unstable and you don't want to leave your kids with a bad impression or when they get older, you know, um, think the wrong things that their parent has done is the right actions to take because it's not. So I hope you all have a good day, a blessed day. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for my Leos. Until then, please be blessed, prosperous, fulfilled, and purposeful on purpose. I'll see you later. Bye.